Ever since I was old enough to skate, I loved hockey. Wasn't really the greatest skater, though. But that didn't stop my dad from teaching me the secret of smacking the greatest slap shot. My dad worshipped hockey. My mom didn't. That's why she moved to Egypt, where there's not a hockey rink within 1,500 miles. Dad always took me to games to cheer for our favorite player, Terry O'Reilly. Tasmanian devil. He wasn't the biggest guy in the league, but he feared nobody, just like me. Handsome fella, huh? He always said that when I grew up, I could be anything I wanted to be, but I never wanted to be anything but a hockey player. Yeah, my childhood was going great, but life is full of surprises. After the funeral, I was sent to live with my grandma in Waterbury. I was kind of nervous since I really didn't know her that well. But she dressed like Jean Simmons from Kiss to cheer me up. She's the sweetest person in the world. See, after my dad died, I developed kind of a short fuse. That kid right there just stole my party blower, and instead of asking for it back, I felt I had to belt him in the head a bunch of times with a hammer. Look at me go. But most of the time, I was quick to say I was sorry. During high school, I played junior hockey and still hold two league records. Most time spent in a penalty box, and I was the only guy to ever take off his skate and try to stab somebody. After I graduated, I had a lot of different jobs. I was a road worker, a janitor, a security guard, a gas station attendant, and a plumber. Lately, I've been working construction. It's not a bad racket. I'm a pretty good shot with a nail gun, but uh, one day my boss, Mr. Larson, uh, got in the way. Apparently, he also has a short fuse. Look at that monster. He got a few lucky punches in there, but I still feel I won the fight. Anyways, those jobs weren't for me. I was put on this planet for one reason, to play hockey.